Lesson 15. Review 3. In this module, we introduce the distinction between form and function as a way to help you understand grammar. To begin, consider this sentence. Here, the form of the word lance is a noun, and this word functions as the subject of the sentence. To clarify this distinction, Notice that we can replace this noun with a noun phrase or a pronoun, changing the form of the subject in each case. In contrast, in these sentences, the noun lance functions differently in each sentence, as the direct object and the indirect object. This example illustrates that, at the level of the sentence, Terms that are related to parts of speech, such as noun, pronoun, and noun phrase, relate to form, while terms that are related to sentence patterns, such as subject, direct object, and indirect object, all relate to function. Note that the word verb is ambiguous. Depending upon the context, a verb can describe either the form of a word as a part of speech or the function of that word within a given sentence pattern. As another example, consider subject-verb agreement. When a third-person subject changes from singular to plural, the verb often changes to agree with this subject. Note that this change does not affect how the verb functions in the sentence, but is rather a change in the form of the verb. As a final example, note that identifying a word as the head of a phrase describes its function in the phrase. This word can change when a phrase changes. Generally speaking, however, the part of speech of each word in the phrase does not change. These are just a few examples of how the distinction between form and function can bring together seemingly unrelated ideas in grammar. Don't worry if you're not completely clear about this concept. In Simple Step Intermediate Sentence Grammar, we revisit form and function in greater depth. 